Hey guys, welcome back to Frosted Tech. If you're watching this on Frosted Gaming, make sure you go over to Frosted Tech, check, check that channel out. If you're watching on Frosted Tech, go over to Frosted Gaming and check that channel out. Um, if you guys want to know the setup behind me, it's uh, about a $7,000 setup right now. You guys can go check that out over on Frosted Gaming. It's always in the link in the descriptions below and vice versa. So if you're watching on Frosted Gaming, Frosted Tech is always in the link in the uh, below on the channel. So anyways, we're gonna be doing a $500 gaming build and not break the bank and you're gonna be able to run most of the new games and graphics at almost high and most games, in most cases, uh, ultra settings at 40 plus frames per second, which is really, really good. You're also gonna be able to edit and render videos really fast, so stay tuned to the channel, and here we go. Okay, so for the processor, we're using the AMD FX 6300 Vishera 6 core. This has a 4.1 gigahertz turbo. Uh, the socket is an AM3 plus. It only runs on about 95 watts. The socket is an AM3 Plus, so it's going to pair up with uh, any AM3 Plus uh, socketed motherboard, and meaning so our motherboard is going to be a Gigabyte GA970AD3P. This is an uh, AM3 Plus motherboard, so if you want to upgrade your processor anytime in the future, you're going to be able to use this motherboard and upgrade to, say, like the 9590, which is AMD's highest uh, processor right now. I have heard rumors rumors that they're coming out with a new one uh, it sounds like the 9690 so or the 9790 rather so that'll be a pretty beast processor I, i've heard it's going to be about a 10 core so for the ram we decided to go with team dark 8 gigabyte 240 pin ddr3 sd ram it's uh rated at 1600 megahertz on the uh, clock speed on the ram and this is a desktop memory model. This will not go on your laptops or anything like that, so don't try to do that crap. You guys are PC gamers, and that's why you're here. So we're giving you guys the benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> Just don't be dumb and do that, because I have seen people do that, and it's not smart. Okay, so for the graphics card, we are going to be using a Gigabyte GV. This is a R370. Now, don't get me wrong. These are one of the newest graphics cards out there right now. So these are the 300 series graphics cards, so you're going to have the new Mantle, you're going to be able to have um, DirectX 12, and basically all the new stuff that's coming out right now for these graphics cards. Uh, this, this one as well is supported. This is going to be a 2 gigabyte Radeon R7 370, 2 gigabyte 256 bit GDDR5 memory. Um, now for, there's two, set, two sets of hard drives here, one solid state, yes, I know, it's a $500 build, and yes, there is a solid state in it. It was really hard to squeeze this in, but I'm going to leave a link to the combo pricing and everything like that, like I said before. Um, the solid state is a Mushkin Enhanced ECO2 120GB SATA 3 MLC internal solid state drive. Now, the hard drive is going to be a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte, 7200 RPM, 64 megabyte cache uh, internal hard drive. So those two paired together, you should be able to do what I do on my setup. I use my solid state for my boot drive and my games and things like that. I have a 500 gig solid state in here right now. And the regular hard drive, I, use, I have a 4 terabyte. So basically, you're going to be able to do the same thing, you just won't have as much. Uh, room, but it's still plenty. One terabyte is still plenty in today's standards. Um, with a one terabyte, you're going to be able to store all your videos, all your recordings, and things like that. So, now for the power supply, we want the Stallion series 600 watt modular ATX 12 volt SLI Crossfire Ready PSU uh, power supply unit from Rosewill. I currently use a Rosewill uh, power supply in my case right now. I've had this build for a little over just about a week over a year right now so about a year and a week and it has not failed me it has not done and done me any harm it has not failed me at all so really solid power supplies from Rosewell uh, for the case we're doing a DIY PC solar M1R black and red um, this is gonna be an all steel case ATX mid tower uh, USB 3.0 gaming computer case and it has two fans that are included. So I believe it's two 120 millimeter fans. So as you guys are seeing by the pictures and such. So anyways guys, that's gonna make up for this build. The build comes out to about $494. So we were about $6 shy 
of the $500 budget. Now, I, I didn't leave much room for you guys to kind of add anything that you want, but I already assume that you have a monitor and peripherals and things like that. So going on in the future, I already assume that you have a monitor and other peripherals like a keyboard and mouse, and you already have a copy of Windows 7 or 8 or 10 or whatever it may be, or Vista. Why are you still using Vista, bro? I hope you guys liked the video, and as always, leave a like and a comment down below. Definitely leave a like if you are new to the channel. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Stay frosty. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below to let me know what you thought of the video. If I haven't yet convinced you to subscribe already, maybe you'll enjoy some of my other videos you see here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay frosty.